Princess Eugenie opens up about defining period at university. The Princess of York graduated from university in 2012. Princess Eugenie opened up about a defining period she experienced at university on her podcast. The Princess of York, 33, and her co-host, Julia de Boinville, were joined by One Republic guitarist Zach Filkins on their podcast, Floodlight. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any updates about the British royal family. The duo launched the podcast last year to promote their charity, the Anti-Slavery Collective, which they founded in 2017. Eugenie and de Boinville spoke with the star about how One Republic uses their profile to work with the charity International Justice Mission. Princess Eugenie also spoke about how one of the band's songs was hugely significant in her life. The princess admitted that she went backstage at one of their London gigs in the past. Eugenie said, but I have to say, you know, in researching all that you guys have done over your careers and, and looking into everything, I mean, obviously a couple of songs really stick out for me. But one of the ones that defines Jules and I leaving university was Apologize with Timberland. The princess graduated from Newcastle University in 2012 with a 2 to 1 degree in English Literature and History of Art. The 33-year-old now works as a director at the art gallery Hauser and Wirth. She gave birth to her second child, Ernest, who was born in May. The princess and her husband, Jack Brooksbank, recently lived in Portugal. However, GV News understands that the Brooksbank family has moved back to the UK. This is due to Princess Eugenie, and Princess Beatrice's roles as working members of the royal family being re-evaluated. Eugenie and Jack tied the knot five years ago at St. George's Cathedral in Windsor Castle. Both Beatrice and Eugenie have grown up in the public eye, even making fashion mistakes at Princess Kate and Prince William's wedding in 2011. But one royal commentator said it could be a royal decision for King Charles' two nieces age up. Royal critic Richard Eden said the royal family had become too powerful and King Charles needed to take action. He said, what really struck me when I saw kings and queens carrying out their duties in East Africa was that they needed help. If we want the monarchy to be as strong as it was under the late queen, the company needs new talent. Eden proposed to the king to accept Princess Beatrice and Princess Eugenie as working members of the royal family. He wrote in Palace Secrets, King Charles should ask his clever nieces Princess Beatrice and Eugenie if they would like to be part of the working royals. I know they have a great sense of duty, so it'll probably be okay. I'm sure the Commonwealth Kingdoms, who don't expect a new monarch to emerge in a hurry, will welcome the arrival of one of his grandchildren. The royal family has thinned out in recent years with the departure of Princes Harry and Andrew as members of the royal family.